Cameroon faces multiple security challenges, and what's more, they all destabilize the wider sub-region of West Africa. The worst crisis is in the Anglophone regions of Southwest and Northwest, and is gradually turning into a civil war. In 19 months of fighting, the Anglophone crisis or conflict has killed at least 1,700 people, forced half a million of people to get out of their homes and tens of thousands of others to be displaced in the neighboring Nigerian country. The main sides are hard to reconcile. Armed separatists demand a new country. They continue to boycott schools and force streets to empty once a week as part of their strategy of creating ghost towns. The government still relies on its military to crush the insurgents. It rejects dialogue with any Anglophone activist and refuses to consider seriously any changing on the structure of the form of the state or the way the country is governed. The majority of Anglophone do not necessarily support the secessionist project. They are better interested by autonomous and federalist arrangements like the country used to have in the 60s. Federalist and pro-decentralization are quite divided. They don't have a common vision of what the decentralization or the federalism should be and how it should be concretely implemented. In 2017 and 2018, the governor of Cameroon created a ministry of decentralization, a disarmament committee, and announced the liberation of 289 Anglophone detainees. But these measures are rather cosmetic and do not have a notable impact within the population. A readiness for reconciliation on both sides is a precondition to resolve the most costly internal conflict Cameroon has faced since 1970. Moderate Cameroonians need to mobilize and make the most of international support. With this support, they can counterbalance the separatist groups, break the deadlock, and persuade both main sides to join an inclusive dialogue.